What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, everybody, it's your boy Mr. Donald coming in. Let's go ahead and get to it. So, you already know I'm bringing you some more Destiny. And for the beginning, for the first couple minutes, I'm going to start off with just a couple clips that I had. You know, I've got so many videos saved up and just haven't been making time to post them. The bellicose for the Titan is nasty. But I just I haven't been having time to post them, so... I'm just going through them and I'm just picking out some of my favorite hits, some of my favorite clips and stuff like that. And guys, don't hide up there. Like, people know about that. Don't do that. Like, but, yeah, like I said, I'm just picking out some of my clips and then at the end it's going to be an actual gameplay and I'm going to talk you guys through it. Spots where I messed up, spots where I did good, you know, stuff like that. I don't always do fantastic. Watch this. So I saw the guy over there and I, I lobbed that grenade over there and I was like, alright. Boom, it hits him. Okay, so he burned to death. My teammates over here, I come get this friend. The then I'm, oh, 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 I tried to quick scope him. It just, it, it just wasn't happening. But I do end up mopping him up anyways. And this is, uh, not necessarily a team white, but it's, yeah, it is a team white actually. And one rest. And as you guys know, I've just been playing for no land so much that, like, I really not sure how to play with anything else. Like I've I've been maining this gun for so long that it's it's just become natural now. And I mean, don't get me wrong, great gun. Obviously, I enjoy using it. I use it so much. Now this right here is a good trade to me on any day. Somebody using No Land Beyond versus somebody using you know a golden gun. I'll take that trade any day. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys if you hear my dog barking in the back, uh, something's wrong with her, she's just been acting up all day today. But, this is the actual gameplay, and yes, I am using a hand cannon that is not an exotic, yeah, big surprise, right? So, you know, getting it in a skirmish, yeah, I fled, it happens, but... We're gonna break this down right now. I don't fully remember what this hand cannon is called, but I know you get it from New Monarchy. I, I just wasn't hitting the dude, so I put my sidearm out. Guys, just because you see somebody come into a match with a sidearm doesn't mean that they were gonna switch. Now, if you saw right there when I was moving through in the doorway, I saw his other two teammates. There's only one of me. Now, as good of a player as I may be, I know chances of me winning that right there with this hand cannon and a sidearm are very slim. So I push back knowing that I'm not going to win that. So instead of giving them that free 100 points, you know, for killing me, I go ahead and run back so that way they don't, they don't get nothing out of it. And, you know, just go ahead and restart. I couldn't find that dude. That dude had me iffy. So I push back, threw my flashbang grenade on him. This armor carrier flashbang. I can't believe that dude killed me. I was actually really surprised about that. Like he killed me when he was completely flashed. But the flash grenades are really good. And the sidearms, one thing that a lot of people overlook are really just sidearms in general. Like they're really good. There's nothing bad about them. I mean, yeah, the range can be kind of crappy but for the most part they're pretty beaten didn't do these in the last part. I can't spam that gun I hope they nerf it but sidearms do like what 54 damage per headshot like that's that's doing the same look at that 36 to the body that's the same damage as a scout rifle but it's being dealt a lot quicker you know as fast as you can pull the trigger, that's how fast that sidearm is going to shoot. I tried to bounce it off that wall. It didn't work. But, uh, look, look. Went and tried to gun him down. Sometimes it's like the sidearm doesn't register the hit marker sometimes. And there's times where it's like, you're like, I could have sworn I just put eight bullets into that guy. And he survives with a sliver of health or or something like that but yeah they're actually really good to use and not just for an ammo glitch as most people do use them for but 
other things that I want to talk about other than just this kind of well, really average gameplay is the April update what do you guys think about it so far as of right now I'm kind of iffy about it I didn't I didn't know that that was their bubble until that moment right there where I saw that he had the shield and I was like oh hmm okay so I said here yeah, 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 what up? Uh, no, you, you, no, you don't, you don't, you don't, okay, well, uh, if you're not gonna come to me, I'll come to you. Haha, <laughs> buster, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the April update. I mean, I seen some of the gear, and, you know, it actually looks fairly decent. It doesn't look bad. This dude almost killed me. Oh, no, he did kill me. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I seen the gear, the new armor and stuff like that. It all looks pretty cool. Um, I want to say I'm excited for it, but then again, I mean, it is Destiny, it is Bungie, so this can be screwed up really, really easily. And I just don't want to put all my hope into it being a great update and you know just the stuff that we've been needing, what we've been missing. And it turns out nothing. That dude jumped off the map, so that way he didn't die by the blade there too. Oh god, that that play. But yeah, what do you guys think about it? You know, the new guns. I'm excited to see some of them come back, such as the Patience in Time, the Lord of Wars, stuff like that. But there's some stuff, such as the LDR which I really just don't I don't want to come back I mean I've had enough of that gun in year one getting the final round with it and stuff like that it's, it's too much like this way it, uh, I don't even know how to begin to explain my frustration towards that gun but I know some people are excited for it there's some like I said there's something that I am excited for that's just not one of them you know i'm excited for you know the new content coming in that i, I really can't wait to see see look, look at that like the dude's dead in front of me how, how do i miss any of those shots you know but i'm excited for just about all of the content coming out you know I, I, the new gear it looks pretty dope it's gonna have the taken effect and all that stuff like that and then you know old weapons bringing back the old stuff that everybody knows and loves not necessarily a bad thing and you know some, just some new stuff to do which is interesting which should be interesting it's well needed because destiny has been really really dry and honestly people like me i mainly do PvP, like that's just where I live. I live in the Crucible, but you know, Crucible is just dry. I find myself looking forward to every Friday. Look at that double kill. That was pretty beef. But I find myself looking to every Friday for Trials of Osiris when there's nothing I can get from Trials of Osiris. I have everything that they have to offer. And so I'm starting to find myself just like maybe I should move on to different games and you know stuff like that because there's really nothing coming there's nothing new nothing worthy of mentioning in destiny I mean I, like I said I, I just don't want to get my hopes up for the update expecting it to be something live and it just turns out being bunk like uh, but it is something new at least destiny at least Bungie is trying to keep destiny alive I, I feel me personally I feel like it's on its last leg like destiny is alive on crutches right now oh, I should outplay that kick but Destiny is just barely walking on crutches right now and I think this update right here that is coming it's gonna do one 
Oh, excuse me, I'm a little tired. It's gonna do one of two things. It's either gonna bring Destiny back to life, or it's just gonna kick them crutches off right from under it and and just be dead. That was funny. I went all the way down. <laughs> Oh man, but let me know what you guys think about this this update coming up. What do you, you guys feel it's going to do? Do you think it's going to bring Destiny back? Or are you one of those people who never really thought Destiny would win anywhere and has just been fine with it? You know, let me know if, what you're upside, excited. I said upside, I don't, even, I don't even know where I was getting up with that. But let me know what you guys are excited to see or if you're even excited at Aura to see anything happening here in destiny well that's it for the video i'm gonna let this last minute or so wear out i hope you all have a great day you Every already know who it is your boy mr indomitable if you want to see more destiny content go ahead and i don't know why that dude ran for me he had an overshield and everything but go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more destiny content hit that like button if you want to see you know if you want to support the channel, see more things coming up, you already know who it is, your boy out.